Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you three ways to reduce the size of your iTunes library. These are a few simple steps that will really allow you to save space on your device and your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is after we've opened iTunes, we're going to go to our preferences shortcut command, and then we're going to select import settings. And instead of using the AAC encoder, we're going to select the MP3 encoder. And we're going to make sure the quality is 192 kilobits per second. And that will reduce the file sizes by a little bit. And overall, it will really reduce the size of all of our songs. And then we're going to click on OK to confirm that. So any new files we import will automatically be a lot smaller than they would have been. Next, we're going to create a smart playlist. To do this, we're going to click on File, New, Smart Playlist. And then we're going to change artist to bitrate. And we're going to change the conditional is greater than to 192 because that's what we set our MP3 encoder up with. And then we're going to click on OK to create that playlist. And to make sure this does happen, what we're going to do is select one of our files and select Command A or Control A on Windows. And we're going to right click and we're going to create MP3 version. And now it's going to convert all of these files into a much smaller but also high quality file size. All right, and once that process is complete, which can take a while depending on the size of your library, you'll see you have a lot of duplicates. The file on top is the one that is the old one. So what we're going to do is select all of the ones that are on top. And then we're going to click on delete and delete songs. Now our music will be a smaller file size yet retain its high quality, saving us space. The final thing you can do to assist in all of this is to delete large files. In this case, I have a mix, which is a bunch of songs compiled together, and it's almost an hour long. So I can go ahead and delete that and save quite a bit of space. And that does it for this quick tutorial. Those are three ways to reduce the size of your iTunes library.